and then give us a little pop there for a second, and then boom! When you do that, you get that really nice. So while you're dancing, everyone's gonna be like, dang, our skin look good. I <laughs> love it. Hey everyone, I'm David. I'm here with my beautiful model, Jade. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. This video, we're gonna show you how to make sure that your event season makeup not only is gorgeous on your face, but also your decolletage, your neck, your shoulders. I mean, exhibit A, we want you to look gorgeous. So let's jump right in, because I got a few tips and tricks that are gonna show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so Jade's face is gorgeous. The makeup is snatched. She She's ready for an event, it's glowing, it's beautiful, but we need to make sure that the decolletage, the shoulders, those areas match as well. And that's a really important and key factor in making sure that your look is complete. So when we're creating that type of look on the face, it always starts with skin prep, it's essential. So we're gonna do the same thing for Jade's body. So I'm gonna start by using this really great product from Fenty Skin, which we love. And this is the Pre-Show Glow. This is a really iconic product used by all the Fenty makeup artists backstage on models to get that skin ready and use it all over. Comes with this really handy little cloth that sits on your hands and it's a 10% AHA, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, great for resurfacing, bringing about your skin's natural glow because it's removing all the dead, dull skin cells that sit on the surface. And this is really fast. It takes a few seconds, you see, and already you can start seeing her skin is looking brighter, more vivid, richer, and already there's a beginning of a glow starting. So we're gonna add a general moisturizer, just one that I love for the body, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to sculpt. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our first step, which is contouring. I'm gonna be using the Patrick Ta. This is the Sculpt Duo, a great product. It's actually got two formulas in here, a cream and a powder. The cream is protected by a little plastic cover, which I love. And I'm gonna be applying that with a Sephora Pro Foundation Brush number 56, because I want something a little smaller and denser. And I'm gonna start with the cream. So I'm gonna be picking up some of the cream product. You don't need a lot of this. Now here's a really fun little trick, if you will. Where, where do we contour, right? It's the same thing with the face when you're thinking about contouring your face. Do you do this face, Jay, when you go? Yes. Okay, right, we all do that. When we're looking at contour and then we, we go, we do the fish face. So that reason we do that is we're sucking in so that we can see the inside and the undercarriage of our cheekbone. The way to find the bones on your clavicle to bring out your bone jewelry, as I like to call it, yep, exactly, is you just Bring the shoulders in a little bit, and all of a sudden it pops it, and you can see exactly where your contour goes. So with your brush, I'm gonna have you just sort of pop in a little bit there. There we go. We're going to take that. It sinks right under the bone there, the same way it does in the cheek like that area. And look, you start to see it's really starting to enhance. So remember with this, it's less is more. And also when you're working with the cream, it's gonna look a little bit intense from the beginning. Don't forget, we are going to be using a powder over and powder will always soften everything. So it's really about just keeping it really gentle. You can also contour the neck. Sometimes people like to do that. I like to come down like three quarters on the side of the neck. So not all the way on the side and not too far in the middle. And again, I'm using a little bit because this is cream and cream is very intense looking. So a little goes a long way. And then when we add our powders, it just softens the whole thing out and it gives it a much more cohesive look. So now I'm gonna go into the powder and I'm gonna be using a fluffier brush. This is the Pro Powder Brush number 59, just because I want this to be a loose application. And we're just gonna dust and give me that little pop again. Yeah, there we go. Just gonna dust this right over where we applied all of our contour. And this is also going to set it so it doesn't move while you're out enjoying your event. <laughs> Remember, here's where we're getting that neck too. 
And so the powder is really, as you can see, what's sort of softening the whole effect. It's setting that cream, and it's really starting to bring the colors all together so you get this really beautiful complexion, the same way you do it on your face. Really soft, really light, but it's definitely starting to enhance the natural clavicle bone and the decolletage, which is exactly what we want. And let's jump into the next step, which is the highlighting, because that's really where we get the cherry on top and really brings this whole thing together. Okay, so I'm going to be using the new Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. This is a powdered highlighter, really finely milled, absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna be applying with the Pro Brush number 79, because I want something a little more tapered and precise. We're gonna pick that product up and give me a little pop again. And that's exactly what we want this to do, is go right on those high points of the decolletage of the bone jewelry, if you will. And you just dust it right on top. It picks it up so beautifully. You're making me glow. You are, <laughs> yes! She's literally glowing. It's absolutely beautiful. I also like to take a little bit onto the shoulders because it really brings everything together. Gotta get those shoulders glowing and popping, girl. <laughs> What's excess on the brush, I like to take to the top portion of the decolletage because this is gonna create an overall look that all the skin from the face to the body is all healthy and glowing and absolutely polished and beautiful. And that's exactly the end result. And you still get this, even when she's sort of naturally stanced, she's getting that nice accentuation to her clavicle bone. And that's it, really simple, really easy. There is one final step though. You do need a little bit of a setting spray. I really recommend it. It can be the final thing that makes sure that your skin looks great all night, all through your whole event. And so I'm gonna be using this one from Sephora Collection. This is the Makeup Setting Spray. And all it needs is basically an X in mist to set your makeup, whether it's on your face or your decolletage. I'm gonna have you close one second for me, love. And we're gonna go boom, boom. And that's a great way to set your makeup so you can rock the night away and have a great time with your gorgeous bone jewelry and looking good. All right, well, I really hope you all enjoyed this. And as you can see, it doesn't take a lot of products or a lot of artistry to really make sure that you can create a cohesive look from your complexion on your face all the way down to your neck and decolletage that looks absolutely great. And if you wanna try any of these products, you can shop the shelf right now. And until next time, enjoy your event party season, dance in the night away. Pop in your bone jewelry, and we'll see you all soon, everyone. Bye.